There is a special internship opportunity that is known as Mitex Global Inc Research Internship. This happens every year and a lot of students from India get to this opportunity. You go to Canada, you work under some research professor, you get a stipend, you come back to India and gain that valuable experience. That too completely funded. In this particular video, I am with me with Nupur. They have recently completed their internship. So in this particular internship, the applications are currently open. Hai. So how can you benefit from this particular opportunity? How can you participate? How can you make your application more better? What are the perks and benefits of this internship? What will you get further opportunities? And what was the Nupur experience while she was doing this internship? So each and everything we are going to discuss in this particular video. Welcome Nupur for this particular session. I would uh, want you to briefly introduce about you, yourself, your background, what you have been doing, how you started your coding. So we will start with that. Yeah. Hi, hi. So I'm finally an undergrad at Indian Institute of Technology, Jodhpur. Uh, I was MITAX Global Link Research Intern at University of Calgary during summers of, of uh, 2023. So right from my first year, I was pretty much driven by machine learning and its application. I was not much into DSA things. I was much into building machine learning applications, developing algorithms from scratch. So this was where I started developing my passion. I had already done some internships during my first and second year, which were pretty helpful during my application procedures. So yeah, that's about myself. Got it, got it. So uh, this means like you were more oriented towards machine learning from the very, very beginning, and this might have ultimately helped you. We'll come on to this point. Yeah. We'll, we'll just start with a very important thing, right? Applications are currently open, but many a students have this doubt in their mind, ki should he go and apply? Should she go and, go and apply? So that hesitation of whether I'm capable of, whether I have enough skills or something like that. So that is there in the mind. So unko aise confidence nahi hai ki mujhe apply karna chahiye, ke karna chahiye. So just wanted to understand how did you apply with what thought in mind? Ki, uh, well, you were very sure of you will be selected. Ya kaise tum aapne apply kiya? Kaise aapko pata chala is particular opportunity ke baare mein? Uh, yeah, the first full thing is irrespective of this thinking about the result, ap apply kar do internship ke liye. Because it's not just about being competitive, it's about how smartly you choose your projects. Mm -hmm. So, mujhe actually, this opportunity in 2022 summers, mein pata chala tha. I was sure of applying for my text, uh, but somewhere I was not confident regarding my academic background. Being from mechanical engineer, I was uh, I was quite uncertain how I would be able to compete with people from CSE or AI background because I do work in machine machine learning and its application and it's it's likely to find people from CSE background in in this domain. So yeah, I was also uncertain, but I left all this thing aside and I simply applied for it and I came to know about this uh, right from your videos. So yeah, I, I knew about this from your video itself. And regarding the application procedures, uh, it usually opens in the mid of August or something and would end and would get closed by September end. If you're a fresher or an experienced graduate, Geeks for Geeks has come up with a special Jobathon 21 in which multiple companies are hiring and you need to give their test on 21st of this particular month. You'll be getting this test from 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is going to be a two and a half hour test in which you'll be tested upon various things, be it DSA problems, logical reasoning, quantitative aptitude and verbal reasoning. So all these sections, you'll be having some particular amount of questions. Let's see and check out what exactly is this particular program. You'll be having this test from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. on 21st of August. Currently, five companies are participating in this particular challenge. Be it uh, iSource, they are hiring for internships for 20,000 per month. Media.net is hiring for research analysts for 25,000 per month. Recharge Kit is hiring for DevOps engineer, system operation engineer. Hummingbird is hiring for JavaScript developer and PHP developer. Most of them are for freshers and with zero to three years of experience. So make sure if, if you fall in this particular range, you should apply. And the test pattern is going to be three DSA problems, 100 marks, five MCQs on programming logic, 25 marks, five MCQs on logical reasoning, 25 marks, and five MCQs on quantitative aptitude, 25 marks. Marks. So this is the current breakup. Make sure you do check this out and apply for Jobathon 2021 if you're looking out for such amazing opportunities. Understood. Understood. Yeah. So uh, everyone would have been waiting for like what exactly would he or she get if he 
get selected for this internship so if we term these perks and benefits right so what exactly would the candidate get if he or she gets selected for this particular internship then we'll come on to the entire application process yeah the perks of this internship are uh, you you would get a 12 week stay in Canada at your host university, which would be completely funded. Your flight tickets, your cost of residential food, dining, everything, everything would be totally funded. The, the biggest part is you would get exposure to great network, great professors around the world. Uh, you would you would you would exp you would get chance to explore your domain in in much more depth. Then next thing is it would definitely help you if you are if you are planning to pursue masters or PhD like you would get great connection in this. Or uh, the most important thing is uh, MITAX offers uh, alumni fund for uh, for this global research interns. So जब भी आप आने वाले एक या दो साल में if you are planning to come back to Canada to pursue masters or PhD you would get some amount of funding also from my tax so oh. yeah this has too many advantages so do you do you have any specific stipend amount that you get for this particular uh, time duration uh yeah that amount is fixed uh, by the my tax itself and it depends on the number of days you are staying in canada the typical duration depends uh, on um, it, it, it ranges from 10 weeks to 12 weeks so yeah, it's quite varying for students based on their days. Okay, any any average estimates of uh, the stipend for a duration of two months or something? Uh, yeah, for it, it it is for three months. So for three months, it goes around uh, five point five k CAD. So okay. you would like no, it's not five point five k CAD. Just a second, it it goes around uh, like nine thousand k CAD, which is five point five lakhs and I know. Got it. Got it. Understood. So I believe most of uh, the perks and benefits people would be clear of ki why they should exactly apply for the same. It's more of you'll get that exposure, that research experience that is more valuable if you're planning on to pursue your master's in this particular field. Coming up onto the application process, right? So the first step is you go to the website, you apply for it. So in that application process, there might be certain things that uh, they want to know about you, right? So how to frame up those answers? And let's say, was there uh, your resume uploaded? What was the part of the resume? How your resume would have standed out from somebody who was not selected? So what exactly is the application process and how were you able to write those answers and what all things should be focused upon in that application process? Yeah, the first and the foremost thing is for the application, uh, the you need three things. First is LOR from your professor, uh, the professor of your own university. Then you need your transcript. An official transcript would also do if if you get it sealed by your office or something. And then you need a proper resume. So LORs uh, generally, my tax, uh, my tax allow one LOR. That's okay for them. But I prefer if you are able to manage with two LORs, please do so. Two or you can upload more than that. Then the next thing is transcript is something which you get directly from your institute, upload it straight away. Uh, when it comes to CV, I prefer uh, right before applying your CV or resume, make sure which all projects you are targeting. Like in the procedure, uh, you can select seven different projects from, from any, any background. So just make sure that you have noted down all the prerequisites of your those top seven projects and your resume is covering all those skill sets. It is better to keep such projects where you have already done some internship or project which perfectly aligns with it. That is going to be a great perk in your application. Even one of my projects and some of my internships have Help me a lot in through this all all the screening procedure. So rather than simply going with the topic of your own interest, try to stick to a topic where you have already performed well, where your uh, past, where your resume shows some past projects. Got so it. yeah, and the thing is, you can apply for seven different projects. At least you have to apply for three project. Uh, at least you have to apply for three projects from three different provinces. So you cannot do like that. You have applied all the seven projects right from the same university. 
okay and who is exactly eligible for applying is it second year third year students both or only third year students if you have some clarity on this uh, yeah the thing is if you have one or three semesters left after coming back from the internship then you are eligible to apply for the my for my tax uh, but you have to be a undergrad or a dual degree student and you cannot apply twice like if you're selected once you cannot apply for, for the very next year understood 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 now let's say if somebody gets shortlisted so generally how much time does it take for the shortlist to come after application how much time did you wait for the same uh, yeah the procedure is uh, the application closes around end of september and the result uh, result starts coming in around i think it's uh, november end so it it goes in multiple levels first you would receive a mail right from my tax uh, uh with right from my tax that if your application is under consideration it has been wait listed or mm -hmm. your application has been rejected so you would be categorized into three categories right in the month of november if your application is uh, can is, is says that your candidate under consideration it means that your application is going to be sent to one of those seven professors which you have which you have selected at least one of those seven professors got it so right after that in a week you would start receiving mail from your professor for an interview call or some discussion or chat or something even if you don't receive a mail or something for from the professor it's perfectly fine because i have so many friends who were selected without any interview their cv was so strong that they were selected directly but i got an interview call so yeah so, so uh, like for some of you, uh, you said just after this application round, they were directly selected without any interview round. But for some of uh, you, interviews were also conducted. So if I talk about interviews, yeah. right? so what is majorly focused in these interviews? Are these typical DSA interviews or something different? No, 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 no. They are in coding interviews or something. They would just, uh, they would just uh, ask you questions based on your previous projects how you are able to manage it, what are your plans if, if you join this project, how, uh, at what level you can take this project, how you can contribute in this project, how mm -hmm. your knowledge would be helpful for this project. So yeah, these are pretty simple questions. They don't go in much technicalities. But yeah, sometimes it may happen that if project demands something, then they may go. Understood. And like, uh, when was the final uh, result announced? Like, finally, you got to know that you are selected for this and you will be going uh, uh, for uh, this internship in summers. Yeah, so the uh, results for the first round uh, usually declares in the first week of December. Uh, our result was declared around 7 December or something. So okay. it goes in multiple levels. If Even if you are not selected in the first round, it's okay. Your application would be taken taken in the second round, third round. I think there are three rounds or something. And it's not like that if you're not selected in first round, then you're not going to get selected at all. I have so many friends who were selected in the second and third round also. Got it, got it, got it. And like uh, you were selected, you went for your internship in Canada. Everything was fully funded. So how was your overall experience, be it in terms of the mentors you got, be it the overall experience, be it the networking that you were able to uh, talk to a lot of peers there. So how was your overall experience of the internship? It was pretty awesome. Like you get to interact with the people from diverse backgrounds. Like now these are the people who are not only located in your institute. They are from the different institutes of 10 different countries. So yeah. somewhere you start getting idea of your own level, where you're actually standing, where you might lack in future. So mm -hmm. you get idea of all these things. Then next thing is you, you, just, you just get chance to explore different fields, to express your ideas. Like, uh, professors are pretty open to different ideas. They appreciate if you come with, come up with some new innovations or something. So yeah, you get chance to explore, uh, express your ideas also. Uh, then the perk I would say is the networking. You not only your own professor, but you get to get connected with different professors, different students from different institutes. So yeah, it's kind of culture exchange. 
was it a very hectic internship in terms of uh, the number of working hours or something like that or was it manageable it is manageable like you have to work for 5 days in a week and on saturdays and sundays you have complete off so i think it's pretty manageable because we are already dealing with our college in the same way so it's manageable got it got it any any uh, further opportunities i think you told about some uh, alumni fund that you get if you plan to pursue your masters right so this is something yeah. that you get if you are a, a member of maybe mytex or you have uh, gone through this internship and if you further plan on to do your masters you would be getting you might get some funding from that fund this is what you told right yeah yeah, yeah. understood understood so, yeah. yeah yeah please go ahead Uh, so this fund is specially meant for all the uh, global link research interns if they come back to canada within two years one or two years of their graduation they would be eligible to uh, 15000 cad of funding uh, in the institution specified by my tax so every candidate is entitled to this fund understood 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 So yeah, thank you so much, uh, Nupur, for this amazing experience sharing. I think most of the students have had a lot of doubts related to this program, and many of these doubts would be cleared after uh, coming up of this video. Uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, if you guys have any doubts, any more things that you wish to ask about this particular program. do let me know in the comment section also maybe you can connect with the previous mytech scholars they would be able to help you review your uh, profile maybe review your uh, application if you are not very comfortable in and then go ahead and apply this would may, maybe make more sense thank you so much nupur once again uh, wishing you the best for your future journey thank you so much thank you so much